we should have had the shopping done ages ago. Did you manage to find that scarf for your mom? I'm carrying a hundred things. Can I call you back? Matches! Matches! Get your matches here! Buy a box of matches, sir? Matches, miss? Buy yourself some matches! Keep your fires warm, your cigarettes lit, your stoves on. Matches right here! Matches, sir? Buy some matches? Please? Please? I'm so hungry, please. May I buy some matches? So I can buy some food? Oh, she's filthy! Get away from me! You can have lice! I... I'm sorry. I... Gotta find somewhere to sit down. Here, in the corner, out of the way. Maybe if I wish real hard, no police will make me go away. What am I supposed to do? I've been out here all day and I haven't sold anything. I can't go home. Papa will be so mad at me, but I'm so cold, and I don't have any shoes or socks, and anywhere that I go for help and will tell someone I'm, I'm alone and they'll, they'll take me away, and Papa always says they take little girls away right away because they, they make more money from us, and I don't want them to sell me, and... That was all I have. What'll he do without me? I can't let that happen. But if I go back, Papa will be so mad. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> smiled more and he didn't drink so much or throw things or tell me he wished mama and I could have switched places. Oh, I can't feel my feet now. Maybe I have matches. I could, I could light a fire with them, but no, no, Papa will be so mad. 
And maybe if I, if I could light one match, I, I could warm my fingers up, and, and, and then I could get back out there and, and sell a, a few matches before I have to go home to Papa and show him I didn't really sell very much. I wish he would stop being mad today, at least. It's Christmas Eve, and everything is so beautiful and colorful, and the, the lights are so bright. Okay. Okay, one match. I better stay here in the alley in, in case the wind blows. Okay, here goes. Hmm. That feels a little bit warmer. Hey, what is that? Oh, oh, it's, it's so beautiful. It's a warm fireplace. The logs are huge. The, oh, the flames are red and gold and so tall. <laughs> it's, it's how I always thought of a Christmas fire should look like. Oh, it even sounds right, that, oh, that friendly crackling sound. Oh, it's so, so warm and pretty. Oh. Oh, it's, it's gone. Ow! Mm. Burnt my finger. Wait, how did I... How did that... The, the, what, the fireplace wasn't here, and... The, then it was, and, and... And now it's not again? Is it... It... Is this magic? Nani used to tell me about it, I remember. She'd tell me stories about how a fire has a magic we can't see, but, but sometimes when it's the right light, the right night and light and, and the right person, and the, the magic can show you beautiful things. She was right. <laughs> oh, oh, if only I could tell her. <laughs> she just smiled like these Christmas lights. <laughs> Wonder, what if I light one more? Well, j just to make sure. Maybe if I if I know how to work the magic, I can I can show Papa, and, and we can make enough money with it to to make him smile and, and be happy again. Yeah. Okay. One more match. Oh oh, it smells delicious. Oh. Wow, it's it's a dining table like at Nani's house. Mm, and there's so much food. There's there's roast goose and, and gravy and buttered corn. <laughs> and even buttered freshly made naan, goat meat bhaji, and mm, ladu is my favorite. <laughs> Nani used to show me how to make them. They were always so yummy. Ah, oh, nearly got me. Oh. Oh, it's gone. Now I'm even hungrier than before. Oh, my stomach hurts so much. <laughs> one more. I need to try just one more time. Make sure I can do it right. <gasps> oh, oh, it's a Christmas tree. It's like the ones we see in the store windows. It's so tall and green and perfect. And the decorations are so pretty. All gold and silver and, and red and white. Oh, look at all the presents under the tree. Oh, I wonder what they are. They're wrapped so prettily, all, all shiny and new. And mm, it smells so good. And Oh. 
the angel on the top of the tree. Oh, it looks so alive. Hello, angel. You look like my nanny. <laughs> you smile just like she did. Like she was happy to see me. Like she loved me. Oh no, 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 please don't go, <laughs> please, please don't go, I'm so cold and, and hungry and alone, please don't leave me, please don't go, please don't go. <laughs> no. I don't care. I don't care if Papa gets mad. I don't care anymore. I, I want the magic back. I don't even ever remember being so happy. I want the magic back. I need it back. <gasps> I... Nani? Nani! <laughs> Nani, how can you be here? Did the magic bring you back? Please don't ever go away again, Nani. I missed you so much. Please don't go away. Please don't leave me all alone. I love you. Why did you go away? You... you you've always been with me? I've always felt so alone, even with Papa. Promise you won't go again, Naughty. Please, please stay and tell Papa not to be mean to me anymore, please. No, 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 not again. <sighs> there, there, I lit all the matches. Now you can stay, right? What? What do you mean you can't stay? You have to stay. I just got you back. Please don't leave me alone again. I... I can come with you? Yes! Yes, please! Nani, take me with you. Take me away from here, please. Where are we going? Somewhere where it's always warm and soft. And there's always good food, and I'll always be with you. <sighs> Sounds like heaven. <laughs> Please, let's go. And finally, some sad news on this Christmas morning. A young girl, estimated around age 9 or 10, was found frozen to death this morning by passersby in an alleyway downtown near a local church. The girl had no shoes on, wore only rags, and was surrounded by spent matches. Her appearance has drawn an outcry from several human rights and homelessness advocacy organizations, calling her death a preventable tragedy and a public disgrace. Witnesses who had seen her alive the night before had expressed pity, but assumed that she had a family who had been waiting for her at home. The passersby who found her body the next morning were able to speak to us and told this reporter that they had initially thought she was asleep because she was smiling. Whatever the case, she has brought issues of homelessness among the city's youth to the forefront, and city officials will be taking this opportunity to discuss new measures to keep our ch city's children safe. We can only hope that deaths like this one will be prevented in the future. Merry Christmas, and hug your families closer today.